Do you have foot problems? A study by the American Orthopedic Foot and Ankle Society found that 88% of women wear shoes that are too small and 55% have bunions. A bunion is a deformity of the bone and joint between the foot and big toe and they can be painful. Not surprisingly, because they're often caused by poor fitting shoes, bunions are nine times more common in women than men. Although most bunions can be treated without surgery, if you have tried all conservative treatments and your bunions are still causing pain or limiting your activity, surgery may be your only option. Today we take you inside an operating room and show you a bunionectomy performed by one of Metro Detroit's top podiatrists, Dr. Anthony Beninati. I'd like to caution you, today's video is somewhat graphic in nature and may not be suitable for all audiences. More in today's Medical Journal. My name is Pamela Puglisi and I have elected to get bunionectomy surgery. I decided to have the surgery because basically it was affecting my everyday life, whether I was exercising, whether I was walking, and it got a little embarrassing in the summertime. I would always hide my foot and the pain just became unbearable. The morning of the surgery, it was an early start. I have to admit, I was a little anxious at first. Um, I was given instructions the night before on what to expect. So I was a little, not concerned, but I was a little anxious. If I put a little plate on this, on this metatarsal over here, then um, you will be able to uh, weight bear. Really? Yeah, okay. without the plate, you're gonna have a little more forces against the bone and it could cause it to displace or move. No, I'm good with so, the plate there. So, otherwise, we put you in a cast. I decided to go actually with the plate on the right side because I didn't want any complications in the future. Apparently, what happens is that your bones can actually shift and the plate does stop that and that, that helps your foot to actually stay aligned. Okay, so Pamela, today what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark your foot make sure we have the correct site that's like hospital law now oh. so we don't have wrong site surgery and um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to correct this bunion as we discussed okay um, we can see that this is red because it's been rubbing on your shoe and the purpose of this procedure is to shift this bone over because this bump that that you have on the side is is actually the joint which is protruding so by simply just shaving this off or not really correcting anything because the bunion is going to still progress. Okay. So what we're going to do here is you're going to have an incision that's going to come over the top right about like this. I'm going to move the tissue out of the way. We're cutting the bone. We're going to shift it over, realign it. So when we're done, you're going to be like this and your toes going to be sitting here nice and straight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. On this side over here, the long bone is deviated. Okay, so what we're going to do is, again, we're going to need to make an incision across here, up onto here. Your complaint of also your uh, hammer toe as well as this little bunionette. This is another bunion here. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to be making an a osteotomy, which is a cut. We're going to move this bone over to a straight position. We're going to put a little uh, screw across it and then a little plate so that you're going to be able to walk on it. Okay, okay. all this, all this, uh, all the fixatives stay inside your foot. Think of it like a filling in your teeth. If it bothers you, we can remove it at a later date, but we very rarely have to do that, okay? okay? Um, one of the other things that we see is that when we bend your toe down, we can see that you have a deviation here in your toe where it's leaning, o not leaning over, but it's uh, actually riding towards the outside. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna be taking a small wedge out of this bone in order to take that and correct it this way, okay? okay. So, and then I'll run all the stitches underneath the skin so you don't see any what I call railroad tracks, okay, okay, to make sure that we get a nice, beautiful closure for you, okay? And um, as discussed before, you're going to be in a uh, surgical shoe, I would say, for about five, six weeks, okay. and then we move you into your regular shoes. 
What really calmed me down a lot was when Dr. Beninati actually came in to talk to me before the surgery. He explained the whole process once again, explained what he would be doing, how he would be doing it, and actually why he would be doing it, and how it would help with the outcome of the actual surgery. So I'm going to go back, make sure everything's ready, and we'll get ready to move you back, okay? okay. Sounds All right. good. Thank okay. you. Yep, bye-bye. Thanks. Yeah, this, this is good. Okay, incision. 